Oracle's pledged to support PeopleSoft applications until at least 2027. Additionally, Oracle has a dedicated development team, a quite sizable development team that's designing, developing, testing, and delivering new features for PeopleSoft. Delivery of PeopleSoft's on a continuous basis now, with multiple updates, as we call them, update images, delivered each year. New features are constantly being delivered to meet the needs of our customers, and customers can choose to consume these without the need for a major upgrade. As of right now, the plan is to keep developing PeopleSoft indefinitely. As long as there is significant demand from PeopleSoft customers to have their business challenges addressed, Oracle will continue to do so. If and when PeopleSoft customers migrate to Oracle Cloud applications over time, and that demand for PeopleSoft new features wanes, that's when Oracle will reassess its investment strategy for PeopleSoft. When will that be? I don't have a crystal ball. It could be 5, 10, 15 years or more in the future. Oracle's cloud applications are a tremendously strong suite of solutions, but there are thousands of existing PeopleSoft customers, and a vast majority of them, over 65%, are on the current release. Many of these customers are evaluating Oracle's cloud applications. Some are adopting them. Others are just figuring out what their cloud strategy is. Oracle knows there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to enterprise applications. Oracle wants to be the provider of choice and plans on continuing to service these existing PeopleSoft customers. They're going to do this by addressing their business needs through the delivery of new PeopleSoft features and functions. The last few years, PeopleSoft has really changed how they deliver the system, and that has had an effect on customers and how they deploy the changes throughout the organization. Let me break that down into two different customer groups. The first, are people that are a little bit behind on, on PeopleSoft, and they really need some help in understanding new functionality, how processes have been simplified, and quantifying that to understand the benefit and also the costs of deploying, the disruption that could potentially happen to the organization, where they may need some organization change management. Now, the other group of customers are those on 9.2 and are fairly current but their world has changed. They're spending way too much of their employees' time on routine tasks such as patch application and adopting the new features as well as testing. There are many new services that can be provided to these customers where they can either outsource some of these services, automate testing, and then free up employees' time for more strategic work.